So today, as promised, I'm making a video showing me learning how to get on rollers on my fixed gear bike away from a wall or anything. Um, I did a video a while back of learning to get onto rollers like the pro way on my road bike, um, obviously which is not supporting yourself on any wall, and quite a few people in the comments said, why would you want to do that? I'm guessing you mean why would you want to ride rollers? Well, the reason is when you go to a race, you can't, you haven't got loads of space to warm up and ride around, so you need to have your rollers in one place and you do your whole warm up on the rollers. So if you want to race fixed gear bikes, you're going to need to learn to warm up on rollers and you might not be next to a wall, so that's why I'm doing it. So just to make this really real, I have not tried this before, not ever. I warm up on rollers at all the fixed gear crits I compete in, but I always have my rollers set up next to a barrier or something. So this is really real. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab my bike and get started. So I am gonna be learning this clipped in. I didn't think about doing it with flat pedals um, because potentially it could be easier um, if you don't have to try and clip in your speed play cleat. But then I thought, well, it's actually easier to rotate the cranks properly if you're clipped in, so maybe it'll be harder not being um, clipped. I don't know. So I'm just going to go with clips because that's what I always ride and I might as well learn to do this properly. So here goes. I'm actually a bit scared because when I learned to ride rollers away from the wall on my road bike last month or whenever it was, um, I found it really hard to sit on the top tube and pedal. So I ended up just standing with one foot on the floor, spinning the cranks really fast with one leg and then jumping on quickly. And I can't really do that on this track bike because if I start spinning with one leg, then it's just gonna make the other crank go incredibly fast and I'll never be able to get my foot on. So I'm gonna have to learn to pedal sitting on the top tube with one leg, I think. I don't know, I'm gonna try. No pressure then. I've got like the world's heaviest gear on as well because um, it's my race gearing so I don't know if that's going to make it harder. Yeah. That is a heavy gear! Oh my god! Okay so I need to try and pedal while sitting on the top tube. Yeah. Alright! I can do it! Oh my god I can do it! Kind of! Oh my god! I'm doing that thing again where I'm so, where I'm so tense that my arms um, lock up and I start really wobbling around. I really need to try and relax. Also, I think looking down is a bad idea. Oh, that's better. Right, now I just need to... Ah! Oh, I just can't get my foot in the cleat. Ah! Okay. Is this the world's most boring video? Because I've just done it straight away. Sorry! <laughs> yes. So I guess I need to do it two, two more times and then that means that I've nailed it, right? I'll try not to get, uh, not to fall off, get it off. Oh. <laughs> Very smooth. Right, so I need to do it two more times in a row and I win. I suck at getting off. Getting hot in here. I thought this was going to be really hard. For some reason I found it easier than doing it on my road bike. Oh, spoke too soon. work out quite like that. Um, I guess I should give you guys some tips in case you want to learn the same thing. I would say if you want to do it, um, practice riding on the top tube whilst you go along so that when you get on the rollers you're used to doing it. So I can ride my track bike or my road bike out on the street sitting sideways on the top tube. So maybe practice that before you try and do it on the rollers. The other thing is you need to make sure that the leg that's not clipped in 
your knee has to go inside the handlebars. Like when I tried it on my road bike on the video last month, um, the bars kept bashing into my knee that I was trying to when I was trying to ride on the top tube. So I remembered that and today when I tried it on my track bike, I kept my knee in so that you can actually spin your leg and your knee goes in between the drop handlebars. Um, other than that, what have I said? I can't remember what I've said. Oh, don't look down, look ahead. Try and pedal smoothly and try not to grip really tightly because it makes you all tense and you wobble. Um, just go for it, I suppose. I don't think I've got any real tips seeing as I, I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to do it. Um, but yeah, if you've got any questions about it, leave them in the comments below. And I guess this is another unexciting video. Maybe you guys are expecting me to have an epic crash and I just went and did it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Is there something else that you'd like to see me try and learn? I'm actually really enjoying these videos where I turn the camera on, Kodak Courage, I've just got to do something there and then. So feel free to leave me any suggestions and who knows, I might just do one of them. Bye!